Hi, I'm Krusty Bob, and uh, I'm going to do a little video here about the TMY race car, the Gold Star race car. And this was made in Japan in the 50s, I believe the early 50s. I think TMY later became TOMY, but it's a stamped steel car with an electric motor, a very nice little motor that's actually used in a lot of uh, stamped tin uh, boats that were produced in Japan through the 1960s. But I believe, again, this is one of the older ones. Very hard to find any information about this. So, take away the Excelsior. The car body is just over 12 inches long. The kit should have 72 parts, and quite frankly, I don't know if all of them are here. Even though we may be missing parts, we do have the all-important uh, assembly instructions, which identify in English all the parts used, including the screws and what have you. So it may be possible, if you're uh, missing some of these, to uh, find like the screws and the nuts, find those elsewhere. There's also an actual parts list, again, uh, in Japanese and English. Here's the motor, the TMY motor. These are called the horseshoe motors. And you will see these things used on a lot of stamped tin uh, boats made in Japan in the 50s and 60s. I believe uh, this race car is probably from the 50s. I know it came from the family of a Marine who was stationed in Japan in the 1950s, brought things like this home for his sons. The motor gets its own uh, fact sheet. What does it say? This car motor is MG motor with variable gear equipment, which is designed to be easily started by mono 1.5 volt power, which means a single 1.5 volt battery. This variable gear equipment can transmit most powerful speed to the axle, and we can get any turning speed for any end of use. And there's instructions on how to play with it. So, very thing. Very handy thing to have, and again, these motors are mostly used in, or were used in, boats. Um, I've seen one other example of it being used in a car, and that was uh, the same model. The uh, Gold Star race car, as they call it. On the motor, you can see a little tab that has a hole in it and some silver on it by my thumb. That's where you hook up one of the uh, leads from the battery. The other ones have to be attached to... The frame. Well, let's start up the motor. I've clipped on a couple of leads. I've got a little three volt battery here. This will use, a, it says 1.5 to 6 volts. Let's see, what can we do here? This motor probably hasn't been operated since the 1960s, if at all. The family never put the uh, car kit together. Let's look at some more moving parts. This is the axle, one of the axles. And the hood opens up, it has a latch on it. Tin steel on these things is very thin, and the edges are very sharp. I remember some of these Japanese toys, you know, when I was a kid in the 50s. And if you had a beard, I think you could shave with the edge of these. This is the, I guess you call it the gear shift. Center position presumably is neutral. Push it forward or backwards, depending on which way you want the car to go. So that's kind of a cool little thing. Let's look at the steering wheel here, that little steering box. Let's see. So, yes, it's a, it's a geared steering. <laughs> it's just, that's some pretty uh, neat stuff in here. Again, it's one of those things, though, even if it's missing some parts, you know, you could always uh, do your own thing here using, you know, the, the key mechanisms, the, the motor and the shift and the steering. This Excelsior really gives a... <laughs> A sense of age. I think this stuff is still used. It's actually wood shavings 
and it's called Excelsior in the United States. Elsewhere in the world, it's called wood wool. Yeah, that's right, wood wool. You don't have the uh, lid for the box, which is too bad. But again, overall, it's a, it's a very interesting little kit. So there we go. Uh, quick rundown of what's included with the Gold Star Race Car by TMY from uh, Japan, 1950s. This is Krusty Bob, over and out.